What's up folks, Jared back again and in this video we're going to show you how to unroot or unbrick your Samsung Galaxy Note 2 uh, i317 or i317M, that being for either AT&T, Bell, TELUS or Rogers. Alright, so for whatever reason you may have mucked up your device during a flashing process of a custom ROM or maybe you just want to return it back to complete factory default, so that being without root, okay? Maybe you want to resell it to somebody. Um, if you do want to make sure that you reset the um, flash counter, that's another video for another day. There's plenty of videos out there and tutorials, things like that. This is just going to be the very basic how to unroot or unbrick your phone. So first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to this page here, which is sammobile.com, alright? Uh, it's actually sammobile.com slash firmware and you're going to go ahead and locate, just type in the model number of your device and it'll bring up a bunch of different firmwares. Um, my particular Galaxy Note 2 is with Bell. So I've located the firmware for my phone, downloaded it, okay, once you've downloaded it, save it to a folder that you're going to obviously know where the heck it is. Once you've got that, you're going to extract it once. Once you've extracted it, you should come out with this file here. I'll go ahead and extend this just so you can see. At the end, it should say .tar.md5. That's the file we're going to be using, okay? Once you've got that queued up, go ahead, take your device, all right? And you're going to want to power it off. And I'll power it off right now. Go ahead and power off. Um, now, once your device is fully powered off, we're going to put it into download mode. But first thing you're going to want to do while, I guess you could always do it while you're, it's powering off here, we're going to go ahead and open up Odin. Now, I already have um, Odin uh, ready to go in this folder from my How to Root the Galaxy Note 2 video. So if you rooted your phone, chances are you have Odin. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and just launch Odin, all right? I'll go ahead and bring that into the shot here for you. I'll go ahead and remove this now. So we've got Odin, as you can see, because the device isn't hooked up, there's no lights flashing or any fancy highlights or anything like that. Cool. So while that's up, okay, go ahead and we're going to put your phone into download mode now. So you're going to press power, volume down, and home all at the same time. We'll wait, and we've now got the little exclamation warning here. You're going to go ahead and click volume up to continue. We're now in download mode. As you can see, like I mentioned in the uh, rooting video, it says downloading, but it's actually not downloading anything yet. All right, so it's in download mode. We're ready to connect it to the computer. Go ahead and plug your USB uh, into your phone now. All right, bloop. All right, now we should see, as you can see there, Odin now detected it. As you can see, it's been added. All right, so now we're going to go down to PDA. All right, and we're going to locate that file that we downloaded. So I put it in stock note to firmware. As you can see, this is the only file that's now available in this folder that's visible. All right, as you can see, this is the .tar.md5. We're going to go ahead and click open to load that into Odin. Now we're ready to go. Make sure that the only things that are checked in here is auto reboot and F reset time. Nothing else. Don't touch nothing, folks. All right. All right. So now we're ready to go. It's all loaded up at Odin in the PDA section there, ready to go. And boom, start. And as this is going, I'll go ahead and bring this phone, the phone up here. It's going to go through this thing. You can see it's going to start flashing. It's got a bunch of things going on in Odin here. Um, what it's doing is rewriting uh, the recovery. So if you have a custom recovery like uh, T-Win Recovery Project or uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery, it's going to be rewriting over that to stock um, Samsung or Android, uh, if you will, um, recovery, okay? This is going to take a little bit of time. This is going to take considerably more time than it did to root your device or to load a custom ROM or anything like that because it's actually reloading that huge 800 some odd megabyte uh, firmware on the device and it's also wiping everything clean right now. So be patient, give it some time, you'll see a progress bar along the bottom of your phone as well as in Odin as you can see there. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video now and we'll come right back as soon as it's done. One thing I did want to add though, folks, is that if you have any data that you want that you don't want to be erased, um, you might want to make a backup copy of your SD card, okay? Because, you know, for whatever reason, things may happen and either your external SD card could get wiped or your internal SD card will get wiped. So any data, photos, or anything that you have saved on your internal, that's gone, all right? So you may want to make a backup of that before you go ahead and do this. Just wanted to throw that out there, all right. All right, so the flash is done, uh, is completed. As you can see, the phone is now rebooting. Just let it do its thing. Um, once it's fully booted up, I generally like to leave it plugged in until my computer stops making noises. Um, also, Odin, you'll see it say like added, removed, added, removed a few times. 
Um, once it's done that sort of process and it's Odin's done doing stuff and your computer's done doing stuff and making noises, then it'll be safe to unplug this. Um, I'm thinking that it's probably safe right about now to unplug it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Bloop! Unplug from your phone. And just to prove that we are unrooted, we're going to go to the Play Store. Actually, I think I already have the uh, application installed from the uh, How to Root video. We'll go ahead. You can go to the Play Store and download um, Root Checker, which is right here, as you can see there. I know it's out of focus, so I'll go ahead and bring that in focus. That would be convenient, right? Go ahead and click on Root Checker. And we're going to click on Verify Root Access. And as you can see, sorry, this device has does not have proper root access. Boom. Done. That's it, folks. You're unrooted. In fact, I thought this was actually going to wipe the device completely clean, but it didn't. So um, what you do is you can either do a factory reset via settings, go down to security, and then go on down to, was it security? Oh, shit. Uh, shoot. Let me find out what it was. Hold on. Ah, uh, yes, of course, I'm an idiot. I have a Samsung phone, I should know this. Uh, it's actually backup and reset. You're gonna click on backup and reset and just do a factory data reset and you can click on reset device. Or if you wanted to, uh, you could always get into the recovery by holding volume up and power and the home button when it's powered off and that'll bring you into recovery and you can do a factory data reset from there, but this is pretty much the same thing. Um, so anyways, there you go. Your device is now unrooted. You've got your, you know, um, uh, Bell firmware, or whatever carrier you were using before, ready to sell to somebody or ready to reroute and start adding your custom ROMs. That's it, guys. It's just that simple. Um, that's it. Yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, everybody. I hope you liked the video. Hopefully, it was nice and easy for you and it didn't drain on for too long. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead, feel free, shoot some questions in the comments below. I have no problem answering them. I'll do my best. There are other root methods out there available, like temporary uh, unroot if you need to for whatever reason. But I think that this method is probably the best and most thorough method just in case the other methods leave um, orphan data behind, which could potentially screw around or muck up your phone uh, sort of down the road. So I like flashing the actual um, firmware itself. But again, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that likes button down below. Show me some love. Maybe subscribe for more videos like this in the future. We do have videos five days a week, unboxings, app reviews, ROM reviews, how to hack this, how to hack that, and so on. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.